like people depression is real suicide is real and it breaks my heart when i hear stories of that and this person killed themselves and you'd be hearing comments that ah but i saw him last week he seemed happy oh i saw him yesterday he was all jolly and smiling can't it does so someone with depression do they go around um having those stickers written on their foreheads that i'm depressed is that how it is and it breaks my heart to say that these are the kind of topics that we just sweep under the carpet and be like no depression is for the rich or depression is for a certain, certain kind of 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 of, of people or probably these are the people that are prone to depression but depression affects everybody and anybody and i believe that it's high time that we start talking about those topics high time that we start being supportive and just high time that we make a change so stay tuned and enjoy the video and welcome back to my youtube channel this is your wonderful lady Larity, and welcome back to my youtube channel to all my new subscribers thank you for subscribing and to all my day ones thank you for your like thanks thank you guys to all my day ones, ne? thank you for your likes, thank you for your comments, and thank you for your support throughout. And to all those that have not subscribed, like, what are you waiting for? Please join the family and enjoy. Cause la, gumnand la, like, literally, it's nice to be here. And, oh, my favorite slogan, without an audience, I don't have a channel. So thank you for your support. Odd. and guys before i continue i want to show you my necklace so this is a necklace that i got from my host parents this is a gift that i got from them either side of the heart it is a hand imprinted so basically it's a hand of my host kids so the side is the girl's hand the other side is the boy's hand so it's this necklace is very dear to my heart anyway i'm here to talk about a very serious topic something that is very close to my heart and before i continue guys let us check on our loved ones like literally let us check on our loved ones because hey guys people like we are going through a lot out here like guys here like literally we're going through it we're going through the most like please check on us check on us a lot is happening please like let us check on our loved ones like literally guys we can all be like we can all appear happy jolly smiling but while is we going through the most yes i understand that out adulthood requires a lot like we're all busy we're trying to get our lives eh, together what's the english word we're trying to get our lives we're trying to okay guys eh? okay we're trying to merge our lives and we're trying to to make our lives progress to, to make our lives progressive and we're trying to be successful we're trying to achieve like we're just so goal orientated that we end up focusing on ourselves and we end up forgetting about our family members we end up forgetting about our friends but guys it's important to be our brother's keeper like literally it breaks my heart when i hear statements of which ah i saw him last week he seemed happy what happened why did why did he kill himself i saw him yesterday he was all jolly guys like like it doesn't mean good when you're depressed you you've got the sticker on your forehead written that beware i'm depressed that's not how it is like i can be smiling i can be laughing i can be i can be i can even be shooting videos on youtube unless i'm depressed you get what i mean Uguti, depression is so deep that you know we tend to undermine it and we think good no it's just some small minor 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 issue it's not small so it's important to be our brother's keeper like literally it's important yes we cannot talk on a daily basis yes we cannot like literally spend two hours on the phone because we are busy trying to get our lives moving and everything but it's important to be our brother's keeper and moving on let us be mindful of what we say do you like I've, I've came to realize that the comments that we say or things that we say mostly these are the things that end up leading people to be depressed like most people that have committed suicide it's based on people laughing at them people calling them failures people asking them questions what hey you are now 38 why aren't you getting married hey wanna guys can't you, is there any standard that says Uguti, once someone reaches 35 then you can no longer get married like i've had comments of Uguti, you have been married for four years why don't you have a baby hey like no guys let us be mindful of what we say lest we hurt lest we provoke other people by the words that come out of our mouths like literally if it means Uguti, you pray and be like father god i know that i'm rude i do not know how to speak please help me so the things that i say they do not provoke the next person then it's best to do that lest guys we lead people into depression lest we lead people into thinking suicidal thoughts because of the words that we say because sometimes when you be thinking what you're just saying in passing well, at least this person is basically dealing with the same problem that when I have just, that when I have just addressed. Imagine coming to me and saying, "What's high about tobacco?" 
you finished varsity three years ago. Why aren't you working? Very already I know that I'm unemployed. Already I know that I'm dealing with the problem of unemployment. When now when you come and you wrap in my and, and you wrap the wound with salt, it becomes worse. And it even becomes worse when it's when it comes from family, when it comes from friends. Imagine getting comments from family that telling you, Guti, hey, I saw your other friend. They are doing this, they're buying cars, they're buying houses, they're getting married. And then you'll be like, okay, so basically that means I'm a failure. So let us just be mindful of the words that we say, lest we provoke other people. And the next thing that I'm about to talk about is that if you're going through a rough patch, it is very important to have a confident, a confident, someone that you can confide in. Yes, I understand that it's in those times that we live in, it's basically difficult to get that one person that you can trust. But guys, if it means that you pray and you be like, God, may you please just give me that one person, that one person that I'm going to be able to confide in, that one person that is going to strengthen me when I'm going through a rough patch, you know? There is nothing as soothing as getting that one person that you know, Wuti. Even if you go to this person and you tell them that your darkest secret, that person will not judge you. But instead, they'll be like, you know what? Let us kneel down and let us pray. Guys, it's very important to have a confidant. Like if it means just praying to God and asking for someone, just that one person that you can confide in, then that would be the best. And then the other thing that I found that it helps is that let us listening to music. I think basically it helps Kimi that when I'm going through something or when I've got a foul mood or when I'm just, when I fall down, I, I just play music and it just soothes my soul. So guys, to anyone that is going through a rough patch, just know that it is not over. It is not over. Do not lose hope. Like literally I've been there. I've been there. I'm going to do a story time one day of one current one current situation that is that happened and it almost led me into depression but thanks to my confidence thanks to the people thank you to the people that supported me i never thought you would i would one day come back to youtube because if like literally when i'm going when i'm going through something the first thing that i do is i delete social media i that is the first thing that i do is i delete social media because i feel like it just becomes a lot but here i am back again and i'm smiling i'm happy so basically to anyone that is going through a rough patch not all hope is lost literally not all hope is lost just have faith you know just have faith even if you cannot pray because i know that when you're going through a rough situation it becomes difficult at times to pray even if you cannot pray you know there is this song that says that god hears our tears even if our words cannot be actually i cannot be um we cannot accumulate our words even if we cannot out we, we cannot say out our prayers god hears our wishes from our hearts he sees our tears and our tears are very important to him so basically not all hope is lost when life i always say this that guys as difficult as it is when life gives you lemonade just make lemon juice and you try to move on like even if whatever that you have done the greatest mistake that you have done and you feel like a failure you feel like you have made bad decisions not all hope is lost you can still pick yourself up in this life guys we fall we pick ourselves up we tint it ourselves and we move on so basically to anyone that has been watching this video hopefully you have learned a lot and be blessed and let us not forget to be our brother's keepers let us not forget to be mindful of what we say lest we provoke other people and just be happy and pray if you cannot pray just cry because god hears our tears thank you for watching my video to this far don't forget to like to subscribe and to share to meet again next week with another interesting video ciao bye